Hey, welcome to Guest Picks. I'm Tony T. Joined by our guest today is Mark Mancini, guest outside of our Handicapper Network. We got Mark. You'll find him on XM Radio on Mancini Sports on Twitter. Mark, what's going on? Man, I'm on the show that's sweeping the country, brother. <laughs> must that's hear, right. must see, man. You, Tony Kellis, running it, man. I feel great on Mondays. A little madness. That's right. Great having you on the show. So let's get to our four pack for today. We'll get started with Mark Mancini. He's got a four pack of picks from MLB. We'll start here. With the with the, at seven Eastern time on Tuesday, Yankees here to host the Reds. Yankees are almost this is a huge favorite here, minus three dollars, about two ninety five here. It's it's one of those obvious favorites here with, with the Yankees. Uh, we got Garrett Cole on the mound here against a promising young right handed pitcher here for Cincinnati and Graham Ashcraft. Well, I'll tell you one thing: the Reds coming in hot. They swept Tampa. You know the Yankees split a four game series with the Red Sox. They got a commanding lead. They can just even if they play four hundred baseball the rest of the way, they'll still win this division. Everybody's going to have to play 650 ball to compete. Tough division in baseball when you top the bottom. The Orioles now are in the mix, two games out of a wild card spot, and they entertain the Cubs this week. So, But I think the Reds and Yankees, man, I'll tell you, the 70s, this would have been a dandy with the big red machine and the Bronx Bombers. But I think the Reds are going to meet their match come in the Yankee Stadium. I like the Yankees in this one. I think the train stops with uh, Cincinnati. All right, he likes the Yankees at the uh, winning streak here. These aren't the Rays. These are the Yankees here. He likes the, the Yankees here. The obvious price here at minus 130. Mark Mancini with us here from Mancini Sports. Yeah, I mean, Garrett Cole's a pitcher who's, you know, he, he, he has these high strikeout marks. Didn't have issues with, with home runs in the previous start, but uh, uh, again, the Reds have been a struggling team, 14 and 28 here on the road, but the Yankees just been on fire at home. Well, Garrett Cole, if you can keep him away from Raphael Devers and the Red Sox, everything's okay. The Yankee team has struggled of late. They finished a road trip where they went through Houston, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, I mean, Boston, you name it. But they, they came out of it pretty much maintaining that big lead. It's a huge one. The bullpen's been carrying the Yankees of late. Chapman's been stumbling, but you know, the rest of the guys, you see Clay Holmes, former Pirate, anchor that thing. I mean, uh, this is a dangerous squad. And even with Aaron Judge not really hitting them late, I know he's got 30 home runs, but uh, he's just struggling. Look at Joey Gallo, another struggling Yankee, but they built such a commanding lead. They're, they're just going to be tough to beat down the stretch. All right, let's continue on here with our guest picks. I'm joined by Mark Mancini. Find him over at Mancini Sports on Twitter. Let's continue on here with guest picks. I'm joined by Mark Mancini. All right, Mark, uh, let's take a look at this one here. Uh, it starts at uh, 640 Eastern time. We have the Marlins and the Pirates. No line in this game. Looks like it'll be Castano here facing the Wilson. The Pirates are showing, showing some pretty good form, getting things done. They hit the Brewers pitching pretty well. Well, two out of three against Milwaukee. First time they've won a season series since 2018 in Milwaukee. But when you look at what they've done of late, the bats have come alive. Five guys over uh, 10 home runs or more. First time in six years that's happened. The Marlins are a scrappy team. Chaz seems home. You know, is it an all-star? But uh, I think, you know, there's such a tough division there with the Phillies, the Braves, and the Mets battling it out. These guys can only count for a wild card in the second half. But Pittsburgh starts a uh, four-game series in Miami. I like it. A little road-weary of late. They, you know, basically had a six-game home stand in Pittsburgh, went to Milwaukee, going to Miami. And then they'll reconvene uh, Friday in Colorado before they get the all-star break. So I like Pittsburgh. All right, uh, Mark's going here with the Pittsburgh Pirates in this one against the Marlins. No line here as we shoot this video. Uh, of course, yeah, Pittsburgh, as we talked about, uh, getting really getting the job done here with this. Uh, Wilson, though, uh, that's the, I thought we, the first thought it might have been Ronzi Contreras up there. Well, he's pitched well here, but it looks like uh, they, they announced here that Bryce Wilson gets the start. He's been the pitcher that's really had a tough career of it uh, in Atlanta. Remember Atlanta? He came in. He was just absolutely pounded as a 20-year-old. Had struggles here. Career ERA of 5.85 here. It looks like it's going to be Wilson instead of Ronzi Contreras in this one. Well, Wilson's been pitching good of late. I mean, he's been struggling before that. But, you know, the pitching's coming around. The Pirates, you know, they're eating up innings. Shelton's rule is to get these guys getting five innings plus. Look at Thompson. Look at Brubaker. Look at Contreras. The bullpen's been lights out. Bednar, 15 saves going to the All-Star game. Will Crow, man, he's been lights out. Brings an attitude. And uh, I'll tell you, man, this team is starting to come together. The bats, like I said, warming up. I got the Bucks in this one. All right, uh, Mark Mancini here with the Pirates here against the Marlins. No line here as we shoot the show. Guys, uh, check out Mark Mancini over at Mancini Sports 
on Twitter. Of course, he's all over XM Radio, so keep an eye on him. Mark Mancini, Mancini Sports. Let's continue on here with our guest pick a segment, joined by Mark Mancini. Uh, we got to now pick three from our four-pack. We'll be looking at this one between the Cardinals and Dodgers Open up this series on Tuesday. Cardinals are, are actually the Dodgers are favoring this one. It's $1.45. Total sits here at nine and a half. Dodgers just finished the homestand where they went 10 and 1. Could have went 11 and 0 if they didn't lose that Padre game a week ago uh, Sunday. But uh, they came up short on that one. But 10 and 1 on the homestand. This is a tough environment to play in St. Louis. Playing tonight. The Dodgers are off. Finishing up the uh, four gamer with the Phillies. Dodgers come through uh, St. Louis, which has always been kind of a house of horrors with them. I like St. Louis in this one. Even though the Dodgers have built a commanding lead in the National League West, St. Louis chasing down Milwaukee. I'm taking the Redbirds. All right, Mark says take the Redbirds plus 125 here against the Dodgers. Yeah, you know, uh, the Dodgers here are going to go here with Mitch White, who uh, actually has been a serviceable, serviceable pitcher for him. And uh, the thing with these young guys is just like we saw with Gonzalez, they baby them, maybe three innings, maybe four innings starts, so you don't see these young guys going very deep. Libertor is going here for the uh, – St. Louis Cardinals and Libertor, uh, you know, looking at his numbers here, uh, you know, he started the season in AAA in Memphis. This will be a sixth start. The he, uh, issue he has is a very high whip of 1.74, so he gives up a lot of base runners. Uh, when, when, when you when you look at when you look at his at his numbers overall and some of his his advanced numbers uh, for for Libertor. Uh, he's, he's walking got 12% of his batters and has a low ground ball rate. So that can be a little concerning here. And also that 1.46 home runs per nine innings, that's also concerning here for the Cardinals. That's why you see the Dodgers' favorite big in this one. Well, because I think the Cardinals know how to play small ball in St. Louis. They're tough at home. If this was on the road, maybe I'd give it to the Dodgers being, you know, sparkling uh, on that home field. But it's in St. Louis, and every time it seems the Dodgers go there, it's been a tough place to play. These Cardinals know how to, you know, uh, spread the wealth. they got an abundance of outfielders. Their pitching starting to come around. And, you know, like I said, they, they've got something where the Dodgers can take their foot off the gas a little. Eight games ahead of the Padres, 12 and a half, I think, against the Giants. Cardinals and Brewers are almost in a dead heat. So I, I like St. Louis in this one at home. All right, Mark likes St. Louis here, plus 115 here against the Dodgers. Let's continue on here with our guest pick segment, joined by Mark Mancini. Find him over at ManciniSports.com. You'll find him all over XM Radio with a lot of the sports uh, as well. Let's continue on here with our guest pick segment, joined by Mark Mancini. Pick four here from our four-pack. We'll be looking at this one between the Angels and Astros late night game. we got a line here. Astros minus 130. The Angels bring it back plus 110. The total sits here at 8.5. we got, well, <clears throat> no Syndergaard here on the mound for the Angels. Uh, putting up uh, well, a losing record, ERA 3.84. Luis Garcia here for the Houston Astros. We just saw the Angels just kind of fall apart. The managerial change and have a bad series in, against Baltimore. Uh, Syndergaard strikeouts numbers are way down. Your thoughts on this one? Well, I, you, you broke it down perfectly. The Angels are a disaster. When you look at this team heading into next year, I don't know what they got, what they can do, and everything. This is a dysfunctional team. They don't have enough pitching. Syndergaard's been pitching, uh, you know, great of late. But when you look at this Angel team, I mean, you, you, they're, they're, you know, uh, number one, number two starters would be, you know, four or five on another team. Uh, and, and, and getting swept out of Baltimore, the Astros are coming in heavily favorites in this one. You, you saw them dismantle the A's. They're going to pounce on the uh, Angels. They're getting fat in this division. This could be the big threat to the New York Yankees for the American League crown. Justin Verlander having a heck of a year. Look what Dusty Baker's done. Five different teams taken in the playoffs. you got to go with Houston. And Houston, I'll tell you, adjust the mirrors. They don't have a problem in Houston. The rest of the league has a problem with Houston. All right. Uh, Mark here is going to be here on the uh, Astros minus 130 against the Angels. Yeah, hard to argue this one. I, I expect this line to go even up here on, on the Astros. Yep. Luis Garcia here on the mound. And, you know, you kind of look at the lineups here with the Angels, and we've always made the joke about the Angels over the years. Stars alongside Scrubs. You know, Otani in the two uh, – Trout in the two spot, Otani in the three spot. Then they're surrounded by Taylor Ward, Jared Walsh, Lewis Rengifo, Villar, Strassi, Strafonic, Marsh. This is where this is where they fall fall, fall flat here. There's not nothing around, around their superstars. Well, and not only that, Tony, what, what's the future of this team? Unless you get rid of Otani or Trout, what, what, what more can you bring in? you got to give Cashia players. Otani's been rumored to go to the Dodgers for a Cashia, guys. Uh, but what, what are you going to do? Trey Turner could be in that one. He's a uh, independent free agent. 
Do you get rid of Gosselin? You got an overabundance of guys over there. You got Dustin May coming back, Bueller. I mean, they've got guys that can, they can fit in there. So if you bring Otani over there, you got to get a cachet. They should have done this years ago and traded Trout for the Yankees and got some prospects. But they scan Pat, and by the time they uh, realize it, it's going to be too late. And what are you going to do? Get rid of a 36 year old and try to get the uh, abundance of guys? It ain't going to work that way. So the Angels got problems. And, you know, everybody laughs at me with the Pittsburgh Pirates. But, you know what? I like my stance a little bit better than the rest of these guys, even though they have money. We've got talent. We've nurtured guys. Seven best, you know, farm system in baseball. You can't say that about the Southern California uh, Anaheim Angels. Yeah, it's been a rough one there for the a- a- Angels. Uh, Mark here likes the Astros here, minus 130 here against the Angels. Uh, this one will have a start time here of 9.38 Eastern time. All right, uh, Mark, well, of course, you can find Mark over at ManzaniSports.com over on XM Radio. Uh, before the recap, uh, why don't you let everybody know what's going on over at Mancini Sports. Well, XM Sirius, I love that. The Philly show, I've been doing the pirate thing. I'm in, I'm in Detroit, I'm in St. Louis, all these other cities. I'm just so blessed. But nothing tops this show, Tony. <laughs> Monday Night Madness with you, brother. That's right. Monday Night Madness, uh, we film Monday for the Tuesday games here. Uh, joined by Mark Mancini. All right, Mark, uh, now it is time now for the recap. Why don't you recap your four plays here for us? Well, the Yankees over the Reds. I like that one. Reds had a nice little weekend uh, series with Tampa. Swept them out of town. Uh, Tampa folding off uh, the uh, platform now. I like the Pirates over the Marlins. Started a four-gamer in Miami. That should be an interesting one. I like the uh, Cardinals over the Dodgers. The Dodgers just finished the homestand, went 10-1. and one, But I like St. Louis at home. And definitely put a lot of money on the Astros to beat the uh, Angels. The Angels are just falling apart. Disastrous road trip. This team is just finishing it out. Interim manager Phil Nevin can't help. They should have never got rid of Joe Madden. Maybe the GM needs to go in the eye. Yeah, a lot of bad things going on. Player development just not happening. The guys from the minors coming in and not supporting the superstars. It's been a bad year here indeed for the Angels. All right, uh, that's Mark Mancini. I'm Tony T. Of course, follow Mark over at ManciniSports.com. Of course, he's all over XM Radio, so give him a follow. That'll do it for this edition here of, guest, of our guest pick show. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll have Mark on with his four-pack. So wave goodbye to you guys. Have yourself a great evening, afternoon. We'll talk with you again next week with guest picks. Joined by Mark Mancini. <laughs>